Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Create Astral Modded Minecraft, where I've not really done too terribly much in between episodes, but I have done a little bit. I turned the shaders back on because I changed my resolution, and I was kind of hoping that the shaders would work a little bit better, but I'm debating on whether or not I should keep them on. Because, like, there's a bit of fog. Turn it off. No fog, but kind of little grainy in places but for now i have the shaders on but i did go ahead and make the tesla coil and a bucket of electrum so we got those quests done out of the way as you can see here i also went ahead and made some of the dash plates that are going to be needed for the nasa workbench and the rocket the the dash rocket because, you know, got to make tanks and whatnot. And I was going through this stuff and I was like, all right, what am I going to need to make the rocket to then get up to the to the uh, Mars and whatnot? And I was like, oh, right, the fuel refinery. I'm going to need to make fuel. So I got this all hooked. Like I got the recipe up and then realized, oh, these are Ostrom plates. Ostrom's on Mars and that's where we're going so i ran into a little conundrum on you know what what was the next step because i thought okay yeah we'll just throw down the nasa workbench we'll throw down the fuel refinery i'll go out to an ocean find some oil and then throw in the fuel refinery and then blast off in the rocket not quite not quite up here is where we're actually gonna get biofuel we're gonna have biofuel which is then gonna be fed into our rocket which is then going to launch off of course i've also kind of got this stuff going for steel like coal dust i've already got the coal in my inventory and how i did that was simply taking some of our charcoal from over there and throwing it in front of our haunting flame there to make it into coal and then this stuff all we got to do is grind it down and it turns into coal dust hence why we have a grinder and i need a barrel actually what did i do with all my barrels but either way what we're going to be doing in today's episode besides running around doing where, where are all my barrels are they on these huh i'll figure that out oh wait hang on this will do i will figure all this kind of bottom stuff out here in a minute in between cuts and whatnot but what we need to start work on is this so rocket biofuel is a difficult process especially with the technology you have available to you automating it will test your factory building skills but the stars beckon you to discover a new age within them although you can do this as you complete the chapter you will need certain tools from both sides of the tree in order to complete the challenge let's go so we're going to need a bucket of seed oil, which isn't too hard. It's literally just compacting seeds of any kind. Rice seeds, tomato seeds, corn seeds. Yeah, just all the seeds. That's easy. What's not easy is seed oil will need to mix with the plant matter in order to coalesce. Too many nutrients will interfere with the chemistry, so your options are limited. You can take advantage of an existing tree farm you to automate leaves. This will require a way to restock it with shears however a grass farm might be simpler especially since you won't need to hot patch your tree farm however you'll still need a deployer with shears and you will also need to find a way to deploy bone meal to grass as well yeah so for this what the plant balls that it's talking about you either need leaves of some kind or you need grass of some kind and that includes the moss carpets so what I thought I could do is I could actually steal from that guy up here. So yeah, you're always causing a mess, man. What I'm thinking about doing is I still need to cover up the actual farm, the moss farm with the wood type. I didn't mean to place it down. I meant to all right, you're uh, different. There we go with the rubber wood. I don't actually have any on me. 
surprising. But I'm going to cover up the front and the sides. And I'm going to try to divert the moss carpets from that are coming in here. Divert it off from here so that they're not going into the composters. And I can just steal them for the biofuel production. But that that's something that still needs testing. And what probably was is going to be easier is just going to be the grass farm. Because, like, you need this whole setup for the, uh, the moss farm. But you just need to do kind of that for the grass farm. And we can siphon off some of the bone meal because you can see, oh, right, this can get stuck. Yeah, small problem I have with this thing, it gets stuck. I have to actually have to pull out some of the cobblestone that gets trapped in here. From whenever it shuts down, for whatever reason, it decides, oh, I'm going to, you know, get stuck with cobblestone in me instead of going through the smart chute right there. Yeah. I don't understand why it skips that smart shoot. It just does. So, yeah. But this is working technically. So we could siphon off some of this bone meal right here to try to make a grass farm. And it looks like actually we can siphon a lot more than I thought we could because it seems like it's back. Ooh, we're a little backlogged. Just a little, yeah. I think we can siphon some of the bone meal because it's it's backlogged. So we will probably end up doing something with the bone meal in the grass right around here to make the fuel, and we'll just have to terraform the land. But let me go ahead and get to designing a grass farm. And maybe even see if I can't work that farm over there into the process. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I went to the test world and I worked a few things out on how we're going to be making the, uh, the plant oil or seed oil and the plant matter. So we're going to be working with seagrass. Seagrass is one of the few things in this that's going to be able to be done very easily and pretty much 100% guaranteed to just get seagrass. Because seagrass, all you've got to do is you've got to bone meal dirt or gravel in water. And that's easy. That's easy to make a small little farm where it just creates seagrass and just seagrass whereas like if we did it on regular grass we have the chance of getting all these flowers as well and we don't want those so seagrass that's how we're going to get our plant material so that's how we're getting these guys now for the actual seed oil how we're going to be getting this is actually going to be through hang on wait for it rice so you can see I've got it right up here. Rice actually does a few things for us. When we get rice, you do so by milling it. And you can get a 50% chance of straw if you go through the millstone. Or... Uh, dang it, hang on. I was using the wrong thing. I was using this. Uh, if you take this guy through a millstone or a crushing wheel, you actually get both of these items, rice and straw. Now, what you can do with the rice is you can then compact that into seed oil, which is good, and it gives 100 mil buckets, even better. But what you can do with the straw, you can actually compost it into bone meal. Maybe not a lot of bone meal, but that'll actually help with the supplementing. We're still gonna take the bone meal that's coming out over here, we're going to send some off this way as well to just make sure that our uh, seagrass production is going to be well enough, uh, topped off well enough. Yeah, that's the word. Topped off well enough, and we'll have the rice being turned into the plant oil. And from there, well, 
we've just got to go into paint plant balls, which will be it'll be like this recipe. So it'll be nine of the seagrass plus five of hundred will get us these plant balls. These, then we just got to send them through a, four stampers because four. We take this guy, throw it in a compressor. We get biomass from biomass. We then get the biomass pellets. Is it the biomass pellet we need? No. Your fuel, biomatter. So yeah, we need the biomatter. So it's going to be washing the biomass. And then this guy's just got to get into a solid canning machine, which is empty cells, which are tin, which I can fill it up. So yeah, this is, this is coming along and it's mainly going to be from rice and kelp. So let me flatten this area out. Let me get a rice field going and I'll be right back. You guys like my glitching uh, windmill up there? I like my glitching windmill. Not really. It, it just, it happens so frequently that I just get tired of refreshing the chunks to get it to work properly. But what should be working properly is this. Doesn't look like a lot until you actually start walking into it, but this is how we make biofuel. The, you know, the, the, the stuff up here to make our rocket go. Meow. So this, this was a little bit of a, a treat to work out. So I've got the seagrass going to be made right here. And when it's done, like when the bone meal is going to send in to the grass here in water makes seagrass. Seagrass is then going to get picked up by these guys, which I will manually have to start putting in some shears into these guys. I actually, I could automate it a little bit by putting hoppers and chests and yeah. But either way, the seagrass will come out here. They're filtered to do so. They're actually filtered to not let the shears out. But they will send the seagrass down this way, this way underneath this belt over here up this belt and into this guy this is just a chest to say you know once this chest gets full this guy here which is a stockpile switch new item what it does is it looks at that and goes hey how much in items are in here how much of the container is full if it's you know you can change it say you want it at if it's 15 percent full emit a redstone signal or if it's below 15% emit a redstone signal. So that's what that's doing right now is just checking to see if this guy is full. If it is full, it'll output a redstone signal, which this guy, a redstone link, which we've already dabbled with a little bit. What this guy will do is send a, sig a signal over here. Not a big distance that it had to cover, but I just wanted to streamline this process just a little bit, you know, keep the clutter down. It's going to go over to this clutch, which will then turn off the whole seagrass production, but only when that's full, which will be after all the lines fill up. But if we follow the line over here, the seagrass will then follow this belt line and go into this mixer, which will get mixed up with the product from the rice. The rice here will get turned, you know, it'll go through the harvester, it'll pick it up, It'll go through here, it'll come out here, and it'll get ground up into boop. It'll get ground up into rice and straw. The straw, like both of them, will go over this way. The straw will go over here, goes down into a composter to make more bone meal, which will then feed back over here into the seagrass area. Now we are getting some bone meal from over there, like we're moving it over and into here. And this is already filled up and we still got plenty over there. So we're good. But this is just in case, you know. But once the, you know, the straw goes off here, this is where the rice will come over. It'll go into this basin, which will then get stamped into our plant oil. Right, plant oil? Boop. Uh, seed oil, not plant oil. Seed oil. It'll get squished into seed oil. We'll then take it over here and join up with the seagrass and it'll turn into a plant ball. The plant ball 
then needs to be stamped four times to make a compressed plant ball. It then gets to get compressed even more, but this time in an actual compressor. So the plant ball becomes a compressed plant ball, which then becomes biomass. So biomass then will go out here. It'll get washed because you can see there's some fans down there. It'll get washed and this only this filter only accepts biomass and sugar because unfortunately biomass when washed produces sugar and plant matter uh, pure biomatter just at a I don't know it doesn't actually say how often you can see there's like these two squares here but it doesn't say here and it it's sugar here but it doesn't say how much this one the pure biomatter is consistent though you will always get that so I've got the sugar already set here to go off and be burned or to store it. I don't know which I'm doing yet. But the pure biomatter will go along this belt and go into the solid canning machine, which I've already got some empty cells in. That's what these guys are. They're just simply a little bit of tin, as you can see. Empty cells, just some tin. So I just fed in just a little over two stacks or just under two stacks one of the two and it'll get canned in here and turn into a biofuel cell which will output here so all of this which takes up just barely takes up two chunks so this whole chunk is you know from the back there all the way up to right here and yeah these guys just stick out just a little bit but they stay within you know this side of the chunk borders so i tried to keep it all within one chunk and it didn't quite work but it's fine it allowed me to kind of you know unify my whole area as one so i'm not too upset about it so this system is theoretically ready to go i just got to get a power source over here which is probably just going to be another windmill and i have to run some power lines from our generators over there all the way over here into these guys or actually i can make another <laughs> yeah i'm gonna make more of the windmills the uh these guys because i just i don't know i like them i just do and they work they work above 64. <laughs> So, this is at 73. Why 73? So, they'll work right here. So, yeah, I get to have more windmills. So, let me go make, the, make those windmills. Let me put them on top of here. And let's get this whole system running. Okay, so I've got in our copious amount of windmills here. And I've got in it kind of working. Kind of not. I had to lower the uh, deployer one block. I thought it interacted with two blocks down, but I guess technically it is interacting with two blocks down because it's, you know, space and then that. But I thought, uh, whatever, I, I had to lower down to get it to work and it's working. But I now have the issue of trying to belt everything up correctly and it's going into the chest. OK, that's good. But I need to get that belt running too. Oh, I can actually, I can do this here. I need to, hey, 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 no dirt. I need to go to my project chest. Sorry for all the camera shaking. Okay, I need two of you and then all of you actually. Actually, that's a perfect amount of iron nuggets in case drives, in case chain drives, I should say. Okay. Now, if we set you in there, set you in there, and y'all are facing the wrong way because, of course, you are. Oh, no, no. I need to be able to stop it. There and there. Okay. There we go. We're getting all the seagrass now. And it's taking turns in between. 
Okay, seagrass is going in. We now need to turn you on, which is actually easier than you think. We just got to do this. All right, it starts running, and it's running into here. And that's what we want to see. Seagrass is making it to its final destination. Now we've just got to turn this guy on. And I realize now I need a I need a whole system for this. I forgot about this system. I did it in my test world, but I forgot to build it in here because I need not only do I need a clutch or not a clutch. I need a uh, to create. I need a gear shift. Yeah, I need to make a gear shift. And that's going to be annoying. I'm also going to have to make a timer to have it run every so often. But unlike the uh, one down there that harvests the weast, the weast, the wheat, I just kind of, you know, run it for like, say I have it run every like 32 ticks. It'll go, okay. Then 30 ticks later, okay. So, because rice doesn't, it, it grows fairly quickly now that it's at like this stage. Now that the initial stage down here in the water is fine, this stuff up here will grow pretty quickly, I believe. So, let me get this put in real quick. Okay, so I think I got this working correctly. I got a little timer down there, and I used a sequenced gear shift. It's the next step up, and you can actually customize it to do things. So, I've got it not working. Oh. What? What? What's going on here? Why aren't you working? So. Oh, wait. No, that doesn't make sense. So what it's supposed to be doing is down here. This guy is supposed to send a redstone signal. Oh, does it need to be? It might need to be a pulse. It might not like a. Uh, a solid signal but it does try to move so right now this is set for uh, 64 block uh, 64 delay 64 tick delay which is not a lot but like look it, it tries to move here in a second see it tries to move so I have it set to move four blocks which this is one two three four four blocks and then when it does the four blocks or after it moves four blocks, it'll then move back four blocks and then end. So I don't know. Let me pick this up. It might need to be a, uh, a pulse and not a solid stream or solid uh power so if i take a piston let me go get a piston okay so i've got a piston under here with the sand block as you can see which this should create a monostable circuit as long as this guy is ticked correctly this guy doesn't matter this guy has to be ticked two ticks to accept the redstone signal so that should now actually have this run correctly because this will receive a pulse and not a consistent signal after 64 ticks and then it should run and do its thing and then come back but i'm thinking now it might be these guys the portable storage interfaces these might be causing the problem i'm not sure but we'll find out here in a couple seconds. It received the signal and it's trying to go. Hmm. It tried to do it. 
a timed delay. It's pulling backward. Oh. Oh. I see what's going on now. Oh, okay. Um. We need to reverse the input speed. Four. Bring this back down to four. And then input speed forwards four. Oh, that was the issue. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. We, this this guy rotating made me realize what the issue was. Because if you look, that guy's rotating this way, which is pulling this in. So here in a second, when that goes off again, we should see this actually work properly. Okay, it didn't work properly. Let's... I uh, went forward two, one, two. So just add maybe six. Will that work? Okay, it was off by one block. So move it up one more and it should grab this i don't know why this is being a dick like it is but it is why does this count as like three blocks grabs that and runs it back and there we go and then there should be yep rice in there all right cool Things are working properly now, so we can throw that back in there. Yes. Okay, now just to get these belt lines running correctly, and we will have seed oil. So let me run the power. The power actually should be pretty simple. I can just take the power here, and then actually I need, I need chain drives. So, well, I need to reverse the rotation. And then I need chain drives. Let me get those. Let me get this running and we will be right back. I got everything working now and oh, God dang it. Gotta. I have to. Yeah, <laughs> the seed oil is being an issue right now. I need a bucket of that. Otherwise. So I just have to do this one by one until I get a bucket. Otherwise, if there's nine rice in there, it'll just make the rice, uh, the compacted rice. And I'm, I, I, I don't, I don't need that. So two more. Let me grab this bucket real quick. Seed oil. There we go. Put that in. And now we don't have to worry about the rice being compacted. It'll just make seed oil and seed oil only. And then flip this around. Should be coming. It, it's getting out. It's going in here. And it should. It, it, it should. It should be working. Oh, this belt's not running. I need to... I need to mess with that. Why aren't you running? Uh, plant ball. Seagrass is a viable thing. Seagrass, nine. Oh, is it? Hang on. There was 16 in there. So... Why are you failing me? Everything's running at 128, so everything should be working. Mm -hmm. More problem solving. So I'm a dodo bird, and this actually needed to be heated. So I went ahead and installed a deployer, put some charcoal over here. I used up pretty much all my charcoal. There's only like two stacks left over there, so... I'm going to have to increase the amount of uh, storage of charcoal, but yeah, so I just, 
have it locked right now so that it only gives it a so much but I can unlock it at any time so it only gave it one piece uh, let's let's let it flow through a little bit because I have no idea how, how much it's actually gonna take to do this it's feeding into it uh 30 pieces 34 you're you're mixing you you are mixing oh 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 oh, oh. <gasps> look at it play ball ha ha sorry i had to grab it before now it smashes i just ha i had to do that for the quests and we got to catch it here before it or well actually we can catch it after it's done here also had to put in another twitching windmill because ran out of power in that one this should make it into the other it, it didn't wait plant ball gets smashed four times and there's an 80 percent chance Oh. Oh no. There's so many problems cropping up with this. Let me grab you just because I need to. For the quest, it goes in here. It turns into a compressed plant ball, which then compressed plant ball and a compressor turns into biomass after 15 seconds, but it's it's not running. Why are why are you not running? Oh, also this belt isn't running either. Hang on. Oop. Uh, nope. There we go. And then I think I can just do this, and it'll run. Yeah, it runs the right direction. Okay. Seriously, why aren't you? Oh my lordy, why aren't you working correctly? At least we're getting more plant balls. But, oh, wait, is it? Oh, oh, it's four plant balls in order to make. Okay, that makes sense. Also, these fans aren't running. Okay, so... We've got a lot of little problems going on here. One of them being, oh wait, no, you you need to come off because, yeah, I need to start washing these things. I need to fix this because, how did, uh, I, oh, well, that one doesn't make sense. Random, random thing was straw. Uh, but yeah. I gotta make a filter. Gotta change this to a brass one. Oh, hello there, I fly. Gotta change this guy to a brass so that it only accepts this one, the compressed plant ball. And then, oh, hey, look, our seagrass is almost filled. I gotta turn on the frickin' these guys because I forgot to do that. I forgot to do a lot of things, and this project has taken a lot longer than I intended. And I'm out of recording time. Like, this episode actually needs to go up tomorrow. So I need to end things here. I know it's not finished, but we're almost there. So I will finish this project off, and then in the next episode, it'll be done, and it'll be in this little box right here. So thank you all for watching. I've been Dorkman191, and this has been Create Astral Modded Minecraft. Bye, y'all.